Hey there, fellas. So I had a look at the reactions to that video of ours where we did the transparent rocker cover and a wheel pan. Honestly, I'm thrilled that you enjoyed that one so much. I take it everybody was just as amazed as we were seeing how that oil behaved. Anyway, we've got a lot of people requesting that we do the same thing after freezing the car. So start the car when it's frozen and see what the oil does when it's all frozen and thick. If you insist. I mean, I'm very curious myself to see what happens. So right here we have a car. The engine is in good enough shape. Just like in that video, we'll start by flushing this one. Then we throw in some new filters, make sure it's nice and clean on the inside, so that we can see everything better. And after that we install a transparent rocker cover, as well as a see-through oil pan. We'll figure it out as we go. So let's go ahead and freeze that engine, fire it up and observe to see how the oil behaves itself. Let's do this. Looking inside an engine during cold start, minus 30 degrees. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay, fellas, I've already mentioned before that we were unable to mold the complete items. I mean the valve cover and oil pan. Since, well, we've only just set foot on this epic journey. But it turns out that we have a few experts in the field working in our hometown. They've been doing this for a long time. And they've worked on some interesting stuff. They assured us that they can make this work 100% without any sort of metal sections. Sections. As in we can bolt it right on. These guys use... We tried making ours from plexiglass. We'll be using solid polycarbonate. And you can go ahead and be the judges of what comes out of this. I thought you can't mold polycarbonate. So did we. Right, I see. Anyway, so what have we got here? First off, a couple of molds. Or what's the right term for them? You can call them molds. Simple ones made from plaster. These we'll be using just once for making a couple of test samples. Okay then. Should we get started? Let's try this out. Sure. See where this goes. There are a bunch of tutorials out there that show you how this is done, which we've also watched a fair share of, but once we got to work, things don't line up. It seems simple enough on film, but when you try it out for yourself, especially with no previous experience, you run into a few issues. Maybe it's time to pull them out? Right, fellas, our new rocker cover and oil pan are looking superb. So, yum. Thanks a lot, man. I'll head back and throw them on now. So now we install these, pour in some oil, freeze everything to the core, and then we start the motor and look on. We don't know what'll happen, but we're about to find out. The only way to know is to try this out. Let's do this.
Ok, fellas, we are looking good. We've installed the oil pan. Now we just have to... You might remember how last time... We don't have an orifice in the rocker cover. I'm referring to the oil filler, and so... Now is the time to add the oil, prior to fitting the rocker cover. This right here is mineral oil, which should freeze up. As you know, well, I mean those who know definitely remember. We're about to see whether it'll even be making it up here when it's frozen. It might even all make it up here, leaving nothing down in the sump. I have no idea. If you do, please enlighten us. But tomorrow we'll most certainly answer that question. I right, let's pour in some oil, assemble everything, and bring the car outside. Alright fellas, the morning is upon us, everything is nice, just like I promised. It's around minus 30 degrees Celsius outside, and everything has completely frozen over. Let's see. Now that there is the oil. It's... about the same thickness as honey, I'd say. Isn't that nice? I like how it's frozen. Just like you guys wanted, and all the more interesting for us. Alright then, here's what I suggest we do. Some people out there maintain that. They're like, why should you even warm up the engine? Just fire it up and drive. Well, we're about to do precisely that. What's going on with the oil? Come on now. The poor thing is having a hard time. The poor car has completely frozen out here. Come on now. You are a lot, aren't you? Start. That's it? <laughs> but why? Foot to the floor. Keep hammering. It is splashing oil though, even if it is just the chain. What is the matter with you? It's fighting back. This thing is completely frozen over. Why does it keep doing that? There is no oil up here, aside from what the chain is throwing. Otherwise it's been running for a bit at decent revs. And I don't see anything. The chain is the only source, otherwise nothing. If you look at the camshaft, it's literally dry. I can only see it splashing around the chain and that's it. I don't see the sump. Show me something.
Show me something. So look here, even at such ridiculous revs, we are looking at nothing. A bit of oil did splash in a few places, but just a bit. Otherwise we've got nothing. So you might remember that when the oil was warm and runny, there was quite a bit of it flowing into the head. I mean, the entire cover was smothered in motor oil. But here we have no oil on the camshaft, and that is no good. It is quite thick. And despite the fact that we're running a pretty hardcore aftermarket oil pump, it simply isn't able to squeeze such thick oil through all of those channels inside the engine. Now that oil pump does have a relief valve on it, which we adjusted as to relieve any excess pressure in order to avoid a situation when the oil filter is torn to pieces. Apparently today it's rejecting every single drop of it. The pressure is likely just too high. Given that the oil is very thick, it isn't making it through those channels, instead finding its way back. Let's see what the temperature is outside. It's actually not that cold. Maybe it's gotten warmer in the morning, or perhaps the thermometer is placed in the city center. I'm seeing minus 24, but believe you me, we are located in the lowlands. And it is quite frosty down here. Definitely not minus 24. And so there you have it. After the engine ran for so long, the rocker cover is still dry. Okay, fellas, here's the situation. We started the engine. Everything was okay. It even built up some revs. Then it stalled, which you all saw. And now we can't start it. So here's how it all went down. The oil got really thick. We got everything to where we wanted it. And now look at this. And we were wondering why we had no spark. See that? It's the kind of system... Okay, so that's one revolution. And another. Stop. Something is broken, as in lost all its splines. You'd think that for a distributor to break... I mean, that's just... That's what happens when using thick oil. I think we should take it apart and have a look, huh? We should be able to see everything. Yeah, the splines are gone. There just aren't any left. Stop it, man. The gear ain't moving. So I've got it out. See what happened, fellas? That's how much force it took to spin up the oil pump when running on such thick oil. See what happened? The teeth are gone. Bye-bye. So the gear decided that it's time to quit. So here's the situation, fellas. That oil got frozen, everything was good. We started the engine and saw no oil making it into the valve cover. Well, that's the case with this motor anyway. It was only getting up here thanks to the chain. As for the pump, it couldn't get the oil to circulate through the system. This gear was under tremendous load, like for real. So not only was the cam running dry, but also we lost this gear. See how its teeth were knocked out? So the gear lost some teeth, and that was the end of that. We were left with no spark, since the distributor wasn't spinning. The oil pump wasn't really doing anything, but that didn't really matter, since the engine wasn't able to start anyway. So... You're better off keeping your car somewhere warm, or at the very least warming it up, in order to avoid these kinds of issues. As for the sensor, it'd be best to relocate it somewhere closer to the oil. And so that does it for today's curious experiment. Now, if I might ask, maybe you guys are interested in some more transparent cover stuff? If so, let us know in the comments. As for the one we got, it allows you to see everything very clearly, and it's a pretty cool look as well. So you guys hit us up. We'll read your comments, and if there's enough interest, we'll make it happen. All right, fellas, that's all I have for you. Send in your comments and suggestions. Give us a big thumbs up. All right. Catch you later.